what's cracking everybody tuning in to my channel i want to give a big shout out to all the supporters and everybody that's been viewing the past few videos i just want to get on here because i just heard some disturbing news man so apparently with the new stimulus package that's coming the government plans on investing in a new fbi building and i know a lot of you are probably thinking well so what or why is that a big deal and why is that so disturbing well basically if you think and you you know you think back on the past few events that's been going on it's going to be disturbing to you because look at how the situation's played out one let's go to the 5g which i have on this phone that i'm using right now it's cool it doesn't do all the headaches and making people sick like you know people were saying on youtube before but in china they're using the 5g network to monitor their citizens and what's bad about that is 5g is such a fast network that they can use it for facial recognition and use it so well that they did an experiment where they sent an fbi agent into china and this fbi agent left a tablet on one of their rental bikes their electric rental bikes or whatever and they were able to track and pinpoint where he's been and locate where he was currently at using his smartphone data and literally no. track whoever stole the tablet no. and get the tablet brought back to him no. they literally called the person who stole the tablet on the phone and had them return it Shh. okay baby eat your chocolate. chocolate that's right so that makes it disturbing news with five excuse me 5g the fbi's job is already to investigate acts of terrorism and other things like that and particularly investigate black people right and other minority groups right so with 5g it would make their job so much easier but now that's not what makes it ultimately disturbing right because if you're not involved in criminal activity it shouldn't be a problem right that's true but now what's the matter okay relax so now what makes it worse and so disturbing is that if we look at the current events with COVID-19, we're all masking up, then it's so convenient that while this pandemic is going on and it still was just kind of kicking off, we had a black brother get murdered by the police. And I hope y'all see where I'm going with this. After this brother, gets murdered it leads to a movement to be pushed that was pushed for other injustices that have been going on and oppressive behavior that's been put upon black people the black lives matter movement it sparked this movement to you know begin to push riots because i don't want to say that they've been pushing protests because that's not what the hell they were doing. They were pushing riots because they were having people burn down their own city, their own towns, their own homes, their own stores, right? And with this movement, like I just said, came destruction of property, destruction of public property, and destruction of communities that minorities live in. So now, people like my son, no disrespect to his brother, because I think his intentions may have been good, but he probably was misled or didn't know that it would turn out the way it did or didn't know what the aftermath could possibly be. Now, if you look at it, let's say we take out a map and we circle all of the black communities all the minority communities and then we circle and pinpoint where the riots were going on where the burnings were going where the murders have been happening as of late where all of the crazy shit has been going on it's in our communities so that justifies if a military group was sent out the police came in and started murdering it justifies if the fbi now investigates us and starts locking us up 
So now it isolates our communities as the places that the FBI and other groups need to be watching. See, this is what y'all don't, you know, focus on. But if you're not involved in criminal activity, it shouldn't matter. That's what a lot of you are going to say. That's all well and good. But I don't think that matters anymore because it's being pushed to the point where just being a minority or just being black or just being affiliated with Black Lives Matter, the movement, may target you as a terrorist because they're doing terroristic acts in this country. That's deep, ain't it? That's crazy because y'all burning shit down in communities. And they're not going to send the FBI, the military, the CIA, whoever they're going to send to the communities that's not getting burnt, to where the shit is not going on. Thank you, baby. Mommy. Thank you. Mommy. Right? They're not going to send these groups to where this shit's not going on. It's isolated in our communities. And part of the stimulus money that they're arguing over, mm, right? That you need to pay your bills because you back behind rent. And because you didn't save up, it's going toward funding the very the very group that's going to lock your ass in a cell for the rest of your life. Because technically you would be considered a domestic terrorist. Because a lot of y'all walking around screaming gang gang on camera. Self snitching and snitching on your homies that you're standing with. I mean, I guess it's cool for a music video. It promotes it. And if you're using that money to feed your family, that's cool. But if you're just doing it for the fuck of it, for social media, what's the point? Because now the FBI is being funded. Oh, speaking of funding and law enforcement groups, the police are being defunded. Or that's what my son is trying to push. No disrespect to him. Because I think he's doing it with good intentions, but he doesn't know the repercussions of what he's doing. Because you get rid of one evil, there's a worse one that's going to come after. There's a worse one that's going to come after. So now, you might not even be able to go on the internet. You got to be careful what you type and how it looks. Because have you ever made a mistake of typing something and, it, and something else pops up and it's not what you intend on the computer? Or other shit along with what you were actually looking for pops up? You could get in trouble for that now. Or anything anything you might try to start a business or and you you might make a mistake or whatever the case may be you might be jaywalking you might not look both ways across walking across the goddamn street and be fucked up the fbi don't play but they're getting funded and that's being a priority over you getting money that could feed your kids putting a roof over your kid's head this is the shit that's going on. And this is why I made the video about the Black Lives Matter movement and why I don't support it. Because it's putting us in a position where we are going to be fucked as a people. Especially in the more urban city-like areas in New York. Y'all are really fucked. The people in upstate New York living in the mountains and shit, they all right. They'll be all right. For now? For now? But the urban areas, the places that have a high crime rate, y'all are fucked. And it's not just you right now who's currently doing the shit. Your kids are going to be fucked. See, y'all are making the world worse for your kids, not better. For the next generation. And you wonder why each generation is worse and being dumb, dumb the fuck down, doing worse and worse and worse. I remember there was a time where it wasn't cool to be a junkie. You would get flamed for being a crack fiend. You would get flamed for doing drugs. Other than weed. Which I look at as medicine. But now, you look like the herb if you're not popping pills and doing all kind of drugs. Yo, shit is backwards in our communities. And this is the shit that's gonna make them royally fuck us. And excuse my language, YouTube. These agencies are being funded right now. And all of you are going to be distracted and be paying attention to the next fight with Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, which, yo, I want to see Mike Tyson come back. I was a little shit when he was boxing. <laughs> you know what I'm I was a little kid. I was a little tight running around in pampers. You feel me? Um, 
I want to see Roy Jones box again. But the reality of it is they're way past their prime. Even if they're still in great shape, and probably most of them are better in better shape than us regular people, shit, even at their worst. But for boxing, they're old and decrepit. And, you know, no disrespect to them, but as far as they're not at their prime. So that fight is going to be terrible. You know what I'm saying? But that's the distraction that y'all are going to be tuned into. And why should there be other distractions that y'all going to tune into? But pay attention to what happens. And I want my credit when it comes to fruition. Peace.